Welcome to the Sam and Billy Show, brought to you by Crowd Network. You've got a lovely holiday glow. Thank you. Which, to be fair, I know it sounds really mad, but it's been so hot and quite full on. We have barely laid in it. Like, we, we don't we don't sunbathe. I, I can't sunbathe anymore. You can't. And I do feel like, though, with young kids, what kind of keeps you tanned is just that you're just sort of wondering about after them, in and out the swimming pool. You just catch a natural tan. Well, my, my face isn't that brown because, you know, I have to be really careful. But it actually, actually is. I think you probably think it's not because you're not, like, baking your face. But you are actually really brown. Well, my pigment and pregnancy mask is really strong quite bad at the minute so i'm being really well, it doesn't look it what's your secret let's tell our listeners what your what, what foundation have you got on today or so i've just it. i've put on some you know the luminous silk armani luminous silk yes. if you like mm-hmm. so i've got that and then the chanel universal you know the good old-fashioned yeah you know what i mean bronze apart we we've been using it for years and years do you know what's really funny? You just said that. I've also got 5.5 Armani on, oh, and I've also got the Chanel on. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. No way. That is so We're exactly mad. the same one. And do you know what I recently bought? Um, Rosie Huntington Whiteley's got a makeup range called Rosie Ink. I don't know if you've tried yeah. it before. Her cream blusher is so nice. I mean, you can't oh really God. tell on these cameras, but I have got it on. But it's just a really lovely, like, texture and colour. So you should try them out. Really nice. Well, I I have got the Bobbi Brown, you know, the one yes. that you introduced me to as well. I've got that on my cheeks. It's all about the cream blush these days. Don't you think cream cream blusher is so much more brightening? Oh, it's so... And and also, although it's more bright and it's got more pigment in it, I feel like mm. it looks more natural. It doesn't look like powdery. Powdery, yeah. Totally with you. We haven't even done an introduction yet. You look absolutely glowing. And Thank I like you. your backdrop. <laughs> I know. I'm all in Greece. From Greece. Yes, <laughs> all the way from Greece. I'm, I've actually come to the hotel lobby, so if there's any, um, any noises in the background, you know, it's probably just people mooching about... That's fine. It's really funny. Imagine if you were just like, sorry, excuse me, I'm just recording yeah, a podcast. Yeah, doing a podcast. Be quiet. Just, we just hit two million downloads, so it's quite, yeah. important. It's quite a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we should celebrate that when you're home. We did hit yes. two million downloads last week, and that's that is real, amazing. That's a big deal. Yeah. That's Thanks, so everyone, cool. for downloading for listening. and listening. <laughs> listening to our everyday kind of just gibberish, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I want to know all about the holiday and I feel like, how long have you been out there for so far? 10 days? Or? So 10 days today. So we're we're here for just over two weeks in total. Does it go really quick for you? Because for me at home, it's gone really quick that you've been out there for 10 days. So the first five days actually went quite slow because we was filming out here. So ah, okay. it feels like I've been here forever. I don't know why, but then, then, it's, then all of a sudden it's gone really quick and then... Now, a lot of people have gone home. So, as you know, there's like a huge group of us. So, the, yeah. we flew out here um, with the film crew and they filmed the first five days of our holiday. <laughs> so, <How was> that? <laughs> <laughs> quite full on. It was like knock, knock, knock at like half seven in the morning. <gasps> morning. Like every morning. Yeah, you can I, imagine, I guess you can't you? really count those five, first five days as holiday. Because, let's be honest, even with the film crew there and you're in a lovely location, it still works. It was, yeah, it was quite full on, don't get me wrong, but they was really good. Like, they still give us, like, loads of space and breaks. And I think where there was such a big group of us, obviously, like, you know, you're around the pool chatting to people and, like, you could be doing a scene, but then you bump into someone that you know, so you're like, mm-hmm. oh, like, and you don't want to be rude, and then you're saying to the film crew, so they was really fair with us. Like, it was, you know, we... We um they just followed the hol- the first five days of the holiday. We done some oh, really man. nice things like you know we got we got a boat out. We um, went and like to a local town, just like pool and beach stuff, family meals, loads of like room in room filming, which is where I feel <laughs> you get a real like taster Sense of, of the, the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's quite good though when you film like the nature of your show? when you're on holiday, you do do other little things or excursions that you might not necessarily do 
if they weren't there. I always found that when well, filming a holiday. We were saying, like, we've been here, this will be our third time, mm. and we've never left the resort. So this holiday, we was like, right, whatever happens, we're going to visit the local town or village like, on this holiday. So the film crew was like, oh, we'd love to film that. So we'll, yeah. like, find that out all the yeah. info, get the clearance. Anyway, so we done that. Oh, my God, I'm so glad. It was beautiful. It was mm. so, so lovely. Like... We went to an amazing restaurant, and don't get me wrong, the food at the resort is, like, and the service, everything is spot on. You can't fault it, it's amazing. But I think going to, like, a local restaurant, like, really rustic, it, yeah, you just can't beat that. it. No, you it can't. It was amazing. So that was really nice. There was loads of lovely little shops, and I was re I really wanted to, like, mooch about. But, you know, it's like when you've got the kids, they just want to yeah, do what they want to do. Of course, yeah. Selfish. <laughs> Selfish. Well, maybe now everyone's gone home, you should say to Greg, Greg, I just want a little bit of me time. I'm going to go into town, have a little mooch around. you still got yeah, quite a lot of time exactly. left, haven't you? Yeah, we have. We've still got um, a week today. We go home next Friday. So still got a week today, which is really nice. Mum's home now, isn't she? Yes, yeah, so mum flew home last night. She didn't want her to go. Me, actually. No, I no well, I, I've got a feeling she's not awake yet because she had a delayed flight, which was a nightmare. Um, oh, her no. flight was 11 o'clock last night and her flight was delayed, I think, like three hours. So oh, she wouldn't she have got in the airport really late. Well, she delayed three hours in the airport or on the tarmac? Both. So first of all in the airport and then on the oh, tarmac. No. Yeah. Well, at least she so, was on um, her own. At least it wasn't used with the kids. And well, she she flew home with John, Sean and Nola. But yeah, they, I, I mean... I'd be freaking out, imagine having the kids yeah. with you on that late flight. But yeah, so mum had a brilliant time. You know what mum's like, she's just got so much energy. I just don't know how she does it. And and has a drink as well and then wakes up and then does it all again. <laughs> yeah, they honestly, like we was really laughing. I was calling mum and Nelly the night riders. So <laughs> where we're staying, you hire the kids, well, you all hire bikes, so... Yeah. You get around on bikes everywhere, or you can walk, but it's so much easier on bikes because it's a huge resort. So yeah. I'd go to bed, you know, like after dinner, I'm like done. Like mm -hmm. I would like socialise for a bit and then go to bed and take half to bed. Like some Greg sometimes was staying out, sometimes coming back. And Mum and Nelly would always stay out, and then they would be <laughs> getting in at like half twelve, one in the morning. No. And they'd be like out, yeah. <laughs> like with with others, like obviously there's been a massive yeah, group, of course, yeah, mum and Nelly. I'd hear them come in, and obviously it was it, it's quite funny because obviously it's Nelly and mum, so it's like yeah. nan and granddaughter, and I'm like <laughs> I'd hear them come in, and like one morning and like two nights they woke me up, like I didn't you know I didn't have a go, I was just like used to like coming in late nights waking me up. Oh, late, I bet Nelly so. is gutted that she's. That, that her like partner in crime's gone home <laughs> no well last night it was funny because we went for dinner and Nelly was like can we please stay out mum I was like no you've had your time with Nanny your partner in crime's <laughs> gone home now Nelly you're going to have to come home it's like two oh, teenagers bless her. yeah but no it's been and, and they was the, the kids were gutted for mum to go yesterday they, they was like Nanny like you know what it's like but um, I bet it feels really quiet it's like when you have a big group so... of you away and then they and they're like, lo even if one person goes, it just makes a, f a whole difference, doesn't it? It's so, gone so quiet all because of Because Fern is out there. Is she still out there with you as well? No, Fern left this morning. So right, Fern, okay. Laurie and Sunday. So Jill was also out, flew out with Fern for the first week. Yeah. So that was lovely for mum as well. Because mum and Jill, yeah, of course. obviously, you know, they get on really well. And, you know, we've had loads of holidays, haven't we? Haven't we? Like, when we were younger. younger. Yeah. Um, so that was really nice. Then Fern and Laurie and Sunday stayed on for the extra few days. They flew home this morning. Now it's just you four left? It's us four, but then we've got some other friends, like a group of our friends from Liverpool Holiday that friends? are still oh, here. friends in Liverpool. Yeah, they're, st they're all still here. So um, the kids, like, they all get yeah, on. Yeah, that's they're nice. All, so I just great. find it makes it so easy when you're on holiday and there's other kids for your kids to play with. Because oh it does, God. you feel like you literally can relax and have five minutes. It's so just... much easier. Well, Francesca, Greg's sister, and Louis, and oh, the two yeah. kids were flew out with us as well. And Are they still there? No, they went home. They've they only had well. a week. Right, okay. So Arthur and Bertie, they're like 
we call them the island boys. They're just off doing their own thing all the time. Yeah, so they, they, but it's been, it's been lovely. But I said to Greg, I'm kind of grateful for this week just to like unwind a bit. Yeah. Do, you know, like really chill out. Do it. It's been, you know what Greg's like. Yeah. He's like party planner, organiser. It's been a lot. <laughs> I bet. And do you know what? This week now, you haven't got to talk to anyone. You can just literally relax. You haven't got to entertain. Because exactly. it is exhausting. It's like amazing and you make such good memories and it's fun. But it also is exhausting and you're pregnant as well. So it's not like you can have a cocktail well, and just it. get stuck in. It's I know. totally different when you're pregnant. And I was really laughing because my voice has been going a little bit and like been really croaky. And I said to mum... It's all the talking. It is all, all the, the talking. talking. Like the non-stop chatting. Usually, <laughs> like you could think of an excuse because you think, "Oh, this is where I've been drinking, or I've had a late night." Yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. obviously, I haven't been. You've been but non-stop it's just nattering. Non-stop nattering. But yeah, I'm planning on trying to chill a little bit because we've got a very, very busy September. So have you? What have you yeah. got on? Just filming just and work like, shoots. Lo- yeah, loads of work commitments, shoots, my chapter B launches finally, which I'm oh, really excited wow. about. So for those that are listening, chapter B is my home and lifestyle brand that um, I've been working on now for a couple of years. So that launches in September. Billy, where's it launching to? Just so we can uh, oh, tell us. So listeners. it's um, it's going on to Next Online Amazing. and Very Online at first. Yeah. Um, and then next year we're going to be launching... I don't know if I'm allowed to say actually. In the You're going to be going into a store next year, but you can't yes. say what store. Okay. Yes, but also there's going to be independents that will be able to buy it as well. So, but yeah, it's going to be launching all online. So I'm really excited about that. I'm and so also, excited. And also, you need to. Get, I need some of your bits for my house as well. I'm going to send you. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a lookbook so you can pick. Send me the lookbook. There's so, so I can much pick some stuff. Things. Because You're I feel like I need, it. I mean, I've seen a little teasers from your Instagram, but I feel like I need some little knickknacks and things like, once I'm fully decorated, I need those little things to like bring the rooms together. Do you know what I mean? And I've seen that you've got like really nice little things like that. Like, if you've got like vases and photo frames and photo frames, so it's like bits soft and bobs. furnishings, like yeah, home I accessories, need. glassware. Um, oh, so nice. Cushions, throws. That's it, I kids, need all that kind all, of stuff. All things. And also, we've done like children's, like, so like kids' things for their bedrooms. Yeah, like decor. Like, even, decor, you know, like yeah. in your office, if you've got shelves and you mm-hmm. want nice things to decorate. Little bit trinkets, yeah, nice. So, I'm really excited. Honestly, I, I feel like we've worked so hard on it now for like well over two and a half years. So, I'm so, so excited about that. And also, I've got to pack my house up. <laughs> to oh move. my gosh so, so have yes. you got, actually got a moving date yet do you think I'm roughly not we're yeah. not securing it but we're saying first week of October that's going to come around so quick so we also because we finished filming second week in October we have to right. be in this house by the end of oh, the series yeah. because oh, it'll be like four or five series down I we're think still people not in. will not tune in anymore people will just be <laughs> sorry I'm really sorry I... someone's told me to be quiet I'm really sorry I can't because I'm doing a podcast who is that they're going to have to move he told me to be quiet but I'm... It, it, this place is huge like anyway he, he can move he can move yeah, he can I've come move, and sat in the in the corner because there's all speakers on in the other main bit but he's not recording a podcast he's just tapping away on his ipad why didn't he just go and sit somewhere else i know and this this oh, no i can't even tell you this place is huge anyway yeah Carry on. so um yeah so i feel like <laughs> i have to and he's like mm, no <laughs> um yeah so anyway um yeah uh where moving we? into your house moving in october the st- yes. the show, yeah, show. So we have to be. We've got to be in by the end of this series. Like it's literally. So the thing is, though, like just to bring us up to speed, you're gonna have like all the main things in. You're gonna have your kitchen in. You're gonna have all the floorings done. Because I've seen that yep. your carpets will be laid. Your staircase, which obviously I haven't even seen stairs yet, because I've been going. That up hasn't ladder. gone in yet. That goes right. In okay, next so week. that's quite important. So then, like other things, like bits of joinery and stuff that might not be finished, you can still live without that stuff, can't you? So are you Completely. gonna get in regardless of it all being done completely? You know, like you're still gonna move in. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, there's gonna be like it's gonna take time, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I say, like, to make a house a home, it takes 
a long Course time, but just as long as like everything, because like, we need certain blinds and stuff, which all of that's yeah. ready to go. It's just things like all the electrics, lights, all the plumbing's got to, like all the plumbing's got to be finished off. That the tiling's yeah. all been done. Mm-hmm. Once all the vanities are in, the sinks, every so there there is still a lot to do to get to that point. But I feel yeah. like over the next three four weeks, it's all going to come together. But yeah, anyway, a long time in what have you been up to? So obviously not as exciting as you've been on holiday, but I have actually done some bits this week. We went to Legoland yesterday. Actually, that was really good. Oh, I see that. Yeah. But do you know what I really like about Legoland is the fact that all the rides and everything is for like the kids age group like it's not like a thought yeah. park or an Orton Towers where it's like you know full of like massive teenagers and it's like all them big roller coasters it's all everything is for their age group which is like perfect yeah because that's the thing when you go to these bigger theme parks like yeah. Arthur he's obsessive roller coasters but mm. he's too small to go on them and so, then you yeah, have the meltdown it. and it's like yeah oh. that's it anyway we had a really good day obviously we had Ed- Edward with us as well quite hard oh, work how was Edward not, he was absolutely fine like he I think it was quite good that he could see loads did he go going on anything on. he did go on these like remember we went on those like little boats that probably go yes. about three mile an hour so he came on one of those boats with us he sat on with Paul and Paul and then me Gaynor and Rosie was on the other boat Oh, and he was it. fine but it was quite warm and you know like where you can't it's not really much shade shade so there was, yeah there was quite a lot of him in the pram then he didn't want to be in the prams so then big Paul had to hold him so literally by the end of yesterday like today I've woke up and I feel like I've done a full workout Do you know like all the walking yeah, walking and holding holding the baby walking um, but it was really fun but I do think when you do those theme park days with your kids you have to prepare yourself that it's going to be full on like, it's a long day walking it's around it's a long day yeah. and I would like little tips I would like take um, a bag of snacks or a cool bag or something with drinks because all the kiosks the queues were like huge so oh, really there was a couple of occasions where we just wanted a glass of water just wanted a bottle of water or oh. the kids just wanted an ice cream and the queue time for an ice cream was like 40 minutes so what it, uh, yeah oh, I kids think it's holidays because, it's kids holidays and it literally was heaving but it was really good fun, and and it's good because it looked Paul's really, really in... good on your stories. I yeah, was really laughing we... at um, <laughs> Big Paul on the boat, and it was like lopsided. Where he was and then sitting. it really made me laugh. Because then I remembered. Do you remember when I when we went? I was pregnant with Rosie, and you were making fun. Yes. Do you remember I was pregnant, and our boat was like this because I was like <laughs> quite big when we went before. But yeah, and it was. It's been a bit of a Lego week for us because last week we went to the Lego store opening. Um, it's funny because I'm not getting paid for this. If we're lucky, it's like an extra <laughs> an ad. <laughs> an ad, it's not. We went to the um, Lego store opening in Leicester Square, the world's biggest one, and it was fascinating. Wow. Like, you know, like, even as a grown up, they have things like um, they had a, a James Bond 007 real life size car made out of Lego in there. Like, it was really cool. Wow. Like, and little Paul's really into Lego at the minute, so he was, yeah, he was beside himself in the store, you can imagine. And they had a I don't know if it was Big Ben. I think it was Big Ben. And it was like from bottom and then floor three floors up to the top. Uh, Lego. How amazing. Really cool. Kids loved it. And what else have I been up to? Um, oh, actually. So do you know when I was talking about fitness, I want to do something fun, the power of the podcast. And yes. A company reached out to me. Have you, have you ever heard of those like rebounders, those like little trampolines? You would, yeah. You would have, done, you would have seen of course. them. So, um this lady reached out to me and she's got like a fitness rebound uh, business and she was like it's really amazing she was like it's fun it's really good for your pelvic floors and I was like actually because I remember Gaynor was telling me a little while ago about the rebounders and how good it is for your health like there's so many health benefits to them little so like the little trampolines. trampolines yeah and I actually screenshotted it so I could get my facts right because they do kids classes as well yeah. um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it all via zoom so I just got my trampoline yesterday so oh, it also it is good home. for do it at home. Yes, yeah, so we do it on Zoom. Oh, um, so it's also strengthens the bones, gets rid of toxins, increases white blood cells, reduces stress and anxiety, and you have loads of fun. But there was, there was loads. So I just pulled out some of them. Oh wow! And obviously, we have just had the baby. I thought, let me have a little go. So me, me and Paul set it up. My first lesson, my first class is tomorrow morning. But oh, we God, set amazing. it up, and I was having a little go. And because we have just had the baby, like where you're jumping you tend to kind of clench anyway do you know what I mean yeah like you're you clenching. have to 
So when she said, it's amazing for your pelvic floors, when I got on there, I was like, actually, yeah, I can feel this is going to be really good because the whole time I was bouncing, I was clenching. Yes, so you I reckon, naturally. Naturally. So I reckon in a matter of weeks, I'm probably going to be back to normal because I could feel it when I was doing that. So I'll keep oh, you wow. updated. And I've seen some results on her Instagram. She's called JDK Fitness. She does like this thing where she does like an eight week kind of like blast. And she's like, I can get your results in eight weeks. I'm like, if you can get my results wow. in eight weeks, I'm Maybe really it's something I can that. join you after I've had the baby. No, she she messaged me. She done her let me get the message up. She was doing bounce she done her bounce. Can you do it during pregnancy? Yes. She said she'd done it up until she was. Um get it up because I think you should get one we should do it together on zoom bit of exercise do you know what it's really funny because I jumped off of like a boat the other day not like it wasn't high at all not like some massive big yeah. yacht it was literally like <laughs> off the first tier and the lady one of the captains on the boat she was like no 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 like having a go at me saying you can't do that you're pregnant blah 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 and I was like but obviously, it was just like a little jump. It wasn't no, high at all. You're fine. And I, thought, I think people get re- I, I think people get really precious. Obviously, like everybody's different, but as well, like you can still live a little. You don't have to be so. You just have to be careful. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's like you can still do things. Know your limits. Within reason. Know your limits. What did we do? I mean, oh, I was really done early that, pregnant. You done We that, done the um, zip line. Zip line, and I remember saying to you because obviously I. I knew you was pregnant, but my film crew didn't know. But no, I think I don't had think they I known, would, I would have been would able be like, to do it. They would yeah. have said, "Health and safety, she's not Definitely doing not. it." Definitely not. No, I think you just have to be careful. But anyway, she she done the um, bouncing up until basically before she gave birth. So wow, there we go. I bet that's quite good as well to encourage the baby. Well, they're sitting position. Obviously, I reckon you're towards the end. Your workouts might be different to mine. But remember, I told you like. When I was leading up to the week of my due date, I you was on, on our, I was on the bouncy ca- trampoline rather. I wasn't bouncy castle. I wasn't bouncing high. I was doing like little walks up and down just to yeah. kind of keep get the movement. And it feels really nice because it takes the weight off your the weight feet off. A little I was going to say yeah. and off your back. This episode is sponsored by Katie Loxton, who makes gorgeous personalised handbags, accessories and gifts. I've just been looking at Katie Loxton's autumn and winter collection and it's so lovely. Some amazing colours and styles I can't wait to try. Yes, lots of olive and plum tones in there. Oh, you know what else I spotted? They have a brand new weekend holdall bag. You know how much we love these, Billy. Yes, we absolutely love these. I'm obsessed with mine. I use it all the time. So the new weekend bag in the collection, guys, is called Oxford weekend hold all and it's a cross between the classic toe and the weekend bag so make sure you look out for that what's really good about katie loxon is their personalization service so you can create something unique for yourself or as a gift you can choose between their embroidery or monogramming lettering and then you can add up to three initials on each of your products and if you're buying an item as a gift you get a free personalized bow gift bag with every order and you can add a name and a message too it's so good for like birthdays like we've given stuff to mum before haven't we she's loved it yeah. like of all the personalized on it and we've all got matching it's so nice really nice for gifting so we have a treat for you 15 percent off the katie loxton autumn winter collection with the code Sam and Billy Show 15. That's in capitals, Sam and Billy Show 15 for 15% off. This man's getting really bugged out with me. Is he? But you know, you think just move. You, like, why is he still sitting there? The only reason why I'm sitting over here is because it's right in the corner of this massive room and there's I no can see you're distracted because you keep looking over. He's like, why don't you pretend your pool's in this and say, look, I'm really sorry, but I'm, I've got to finish this podcast. I'm going to be at least another half an hour. I don't know if you want to come back or... Because you're distracting me. No, just shuffle on. Shuffle on. Yeah. I think he's really enjoying it, to be honest. I think he's probably... He's missing. got an exclusive. Yeah, he has got <laughs> an exclusive. The Sam and Billy show. Should be lucky. Um... So, what else? What else has um, been going on? What else on? have I been up to? Well, do you know what? To be honest, that's it really. Today, Rosie's got a party, which is great. Get us out of the house oh, for a few lovely. hours. Oh, lovely. 
um, I need to get a present though I don't have that cupboard yet of presents you know like it's quite a good idea to have the kitchen cupboard of like little gifts yes. for, to wrap up for kids haven't got that so we're going to have to do a quick trip to Argos before we go um, to the party and how's um, Edward any little milestones since I've been gone he's huge I mean oh, he's legs seen from Instagram he's all of a sudden like really bulked up <laughs> he's really bu- <laughs> but remember baby Paul was like that remember he was he, so squishy like so a he's big. just massive and he's got like obviously it's not cellulite but he's got like four cellulite dimples. legs <laughs> dimples and it's all over his legs all over his bum and I just oh squeezing oh, he's really good although him. yesterday we had a, just a screaming match all night I don't know what happened I think it was the long day at Legoland and then what happened was he went into a really nice sleep sort of like early evening and one of the kids woke him up oh Greg's happened come over not. sorry oh hey Greg it is so it comes out have you called it have you called in the heavies for yeah. the oh. um, just, <laughs> can I just get, <laughs> I get a, 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 a cold water please cold water and latte. extra hot latte yeah. thank you it has to be um, extra hot Greg um can't have no cold lattes um sorry carry on yeah so he's so he's three three months now just over tomorrow he's why do the week thing really gets me and when you're a third baby in you don't really care as much about the specifics right today he's 14 weeks old so he's uh, three and a half months is that three and a half four eight twelve yeah yeah um, so he's good. I mean, last night, that's what, that's what we were saying. We, he didn't settle. Oh my God, Joan, you try everything. He's usually really good, as you guys know, but he, yesterday, we had, I think midnight, he ended up going to sleep. He was screaming, and there was nothing Aww. we could do. He didn't want booby, he didn't want cuddles, he didn't want Paul, he didn't want me. And then he ended up like waking up Rosie a little bit. Rosie's like, I can't take this screaming. It was really funny. Um, but I think he's teething. So, I think oh, it's a mixture Paul. of yesterday was a mixture of overtiredness and I think his teeth because the dribbling is just non stop. So you know we're like at that stage where gu- yeah. gums are hard. Oh, and in my Ocado order I ordered the Aston and Parsons, you know, like the, the Yeah, uh, so what is it the same these powders. days as what and it's like these days. I mean it wasn't that long ago, but still like what, like five years ago with Arthur. Mm. I always use Ashton and Parsons, yeah, the good old t- fashioned Bongella and the amber beads. I found the amber beads. Yeah, I have amber beads. I bought a couple of those just off Amazon. Those like frozen chewy things you put in the freezer. Yes, but they they they, they when they've I've received them, they're quite big. Like his mouth's still really little, and I think they're too big for for his age. So I'm just going to park them for a minute. So anyway, I ordered the the um, powders, and my Ocado delivery came yesterday like yeah. last night eight o'clock um Ocado came and they're always really good he was like oh there's just one missing thing from oh, your no. delivery and I was like that's fine I said what was it and he went uh read out Aston and Parsons oh. so I was like of the one all thing you things. really needed <laughs> you could have taken like the oranges or you know the squares crisps or whatever you wanted to take you yeah took the... anyway so and at this point it wasn't bad so I was like oh it's okay don't worry and I was thinking I'll just pop out tomorrow and get some and then last night was the night where I think he was really feeling it I was like I really need these powders but anyway he finally went to sleep at 12 woke up at half eight so he really needed he did feed in the night um, yeah but but he yeah but he really needed that like nice long sleep so and he's sleeping now that's that's why I've had no distractions because obviously he shattered from his and that's the thing you forget like you do like weeks of like or like days of really good sleeps and then you might have one where you're like oh yeah I forgot about this like yeah. they, they don't always it's not always goes to plan does it yeah it changes <laughs> <laughs> <Day. laughs> sorry <laughs> just there fine bring over my drink thank you thank you so much sorry you should have got the uh, the the man that you're disturbing you should have said do you want a drink just oh he's human <laughs> Greg, Greg's come over, and then um, Greg's just texts his hand. Like, if he says Thank anything you. again, tell me. <laughs> yeah, get him in. Go on. You can imagine a little bit of uh, Thank altercation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry, one sec. I'm just going to quickly pour this water. And my yeah, go on. Um. Oh, by the way, mm. you know I'm like I've just gone over six months pregnant now. Can we see your bump? 
Can you flash us? You know, you've got your bikini bottoms on. No, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, oh well, you haven't really got that much bigger since I've seen you last. Sorry. You look really skinny. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I you don't, look really don't. good. When I was at your stage with Edward, I was, like, massive. No. I look really good. No, really lardy on the bum, hips and tops of the legs. You don't um, look it at But we've all. been eating so much out here. But we've also been on the go a lot like doing loads of yeah. cycling loads That's of like good. walking swimming you know it's like, i find holidays with kids right i don't know if anyone else would agree with me <laughs> so for audio pouring the water is just hilarious <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> cheers um <laughs> i find holidays really tiring with children they're the, they're amazing exhausting. but they're actually not relaxing are they come on let's be no. honest Let's be honest, and I thought exactly the same when I was They're in really not. Yorker. They're lovely, it's, and it's, it's just lovely family time, but they go to bed late, and you know, mm-hmm. like, you're dealing with the back chat and the, because they're mm-hmm. a bit tight, like, you know, Nelly, uh, Nelly thinks she's a teenager on this holiday, honestly, really? she's like, mooching oh. around, so there's like a shop, right? They go to this shop, it's like their little thing that we let them do, cycle to the shop on their own, they can yeah. get something, and anyway, Every day around the pool, they're both they're turning up. They're they're going off for a little bike ride like, mm. together, and they're coming back with a brown paper bag every day. The brown paper bag has got like fidget toys in it, sweets. They're spending they just it. it. They just add uh, it to the bill. They they just sign it to the room. They sign it to the room in the no. shop. I was like, there should this be some kind of like block there should be password. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Greg, have we checked our supermarket bill? I was like, because I've got a feeling it's going to be a lot. It's um, like the with the iPod, iPads, rather. Oh, I had to stop yes. it. Put my card was on Little Paul's iPad, and then he knew how to download games on the apps. And it wasn't extortionate, but like you know, four ninety nine here. Oh, and I was thinking, it adds in up. The end, and it all adds up. And I was like, what was? I was like, I need to stop this. So I have took the card off. So if he does need something that desperately, I have to log in now and do it properly. Do but, it, yeah, do it for yeah. him. No, honestly, it's it's been the same here. Like it's lovely because it's like. I said to it, it reminds me of for them. me and you when we used to cycle mm. to remember the, we had the top shop and the, the bottom top shop, shop and we yeah. used to love going in like it's like a little bit of independence isn't it but yeah and yeah freedom for them it's, it's nice but still I was like no 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 not every day this has got to stop and they're coming back and also with, like, you, mad you are in sweets. an expensive resort I bet it's like times fifty oh, a packet of crisps is about eight euros it's, that's it's, what I'm saying <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, sorry. Yeah, kids and holidays, it's just... And all I keep thinking is, I said to Greg, next year, if we come here next year, we're going to have, like, an eight-month-old baby that could be crawling. Mm. Yeah. We're going to be on our toes. I'm like, we need to be... You are going to be on your toes We're going to be so... Eyes in the back of the head, that's that in, Exactly. I was like, we really need to try and enjoy this moment. Because, you know, nearly enough, obviously, as much as you have to entertain and play with them you can actually sunbathe and watch them in the pool now because they could both yeah, swim really 100%. well yeah like, exactly that you do get to that and that's exactly what i was saying to you before when i was in mallorca i was like actually to be fair the newborn stage is fine so of course they sleep that, and that's okay because they sleep a lot still and they just feed sleep feed sleep but i, I was thinking our next holiday i don't know when it's going to be even if it's at christmas if we go away at christmas um Edward's really alert now. He's not going to sleep a fraction as much as he did just no. then in Yorker. So I was thinking, oh, he's going to be like, sort of like in the shade a lot, you know. Yeah. Getting, I don't know. But anyway. Do you know what I always think was really good? Having like a little um, inflatable little mini paddling yes. pool in the shade they, all their toys. Because babies love water, don't they? They just like um, paddling and splashing yeah. in water. But yeah, also really like on this holiday, it's been so much like moving about like we never just plot somewhere for the day it's been like here there and everywhere let's go to lunch let's go to the park let's go splash pad let's go and I said to Craig yeah. like obviously it's fine now but I was like I was thinking about it and I was thinking next year when you've got an, an, a baby you can't it's not as easy to do that like you have to be more set don't you and everything changes so but you know what just, well, when they get a bit bigger like how what I found with Edward recently and like yesterday being at Legoland like on a big day out is they don't before you know it they don't sleep 
like they're not a newborn sleeping baby and they're quite alert so it's like they you forget how demanding they are and how much entertaining yeah. they need and I feel like Completely. with Edward more so and you're going to get it because you've got the third because he's like kind of overstimulated all day from like Paul and Rosie kind of in his face doing 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 when they're not there for a moment it's like hello I need attention but it's yes. more than ever because he's a third child Oh so my gosh, I've so when, when they go lot. back to school, what yeah, are you going to do? Gonna be, I don't know, I'm going to have to join some clubs. You're gonna, I am gonna, <laughs> I'm going to have to do some, I'm going to have, obviously it's been different because it's school holidays and I'll get into more of a routine with him and stuff, but it, he's very much like, oh, hello, like he wants the attention all the time. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's finally had enough. <laughs> I'm joking, you did see me do that. No. I'm so glad he's packed up his lap because I actually started to feel like I was whispering then. Anyway, he's gone. Um, when I get back, um, obviously before the kids all go back to school, Nelly's going pony camp for a few days, but why don't you come over and stay with the kids one night? Definitely, yeah, we will. We'll be, yeah, you'll still be in your old house. 100% will come. We'll still you'll, be there, but... You won't believe how much he's grown since you've seen him last oh i can't wait i know i will just by the photos and the videos it's, it's like so when they're this little every week goes past it's like a month isn't it and i can't work out it's hard because i know that for you i feel like i mean you've said before third this will be you now like you're just gonna have three and obviously there's that feeling for me i'm like is this my last baby what do you do or you still am think i gonna that? have more do you think I don't you know. could have more I don't know. I, I really want to enjoy Edward and the transition from two to three, especially in those early weeks, was a lot. A lot, like it yeah. Did, it was hard. Yeah. And so I'm not sure, but I just, I, when I'm with him, I'm like, I don't know, I'm just like soaking up every second because second. I think you might be my last baby. Yeah. And, and I, honestly, you'll feel the same. There's just something about that third baby that you think, this is, is this my last baby? You just... Oh, it's just really special. I think for me, I know in my head that my third will be my last baby. Well, then it's so really will... going to be like it for you. Yeah, so I think you're be... going to be obsessed. I said to Paul the other day, I was like, I'm just obsessed with him. And he was like, what, more than the other two? I said, no. I said, it's just a different feeling. A yeah, different, yeah. He is could this be my last? last? And he really is the youngest. And it's just, you're going to feel exactly the same, like how I feel. Because I just know. It's just, I don't know. It's just... I'm so, so excited cute. now. I'm, I'm getting to the point now in the pregnancy. When I looked on my app the other day, you know, like you have like the app to tell you like how far on you are. I didn't do it actually. You are, do you, are you in your third trimester yet? I don't know. I need to Google when you're, I'm um, like six months and a few days. I need to Google what, I think is it seven months you're in your third trimester? Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember how many weeks. Anyway. I, I, when I hit, because I feel like six months is quite a, a milestone, isn't it? Yeah. And I was thinking, oh, I'm really, like, really thinking about it. And I was just, yeah, just getting really excited about having. Sorry, a new two born. sex. 20, reaching your, Seven reaching week 27, your pregnancy means you're in your third, third and final trimester. So, yeah. So, I, wait, I don't know if I'm 27, one sec. How many weeks are you? The third trimester pregnancy starts in week 28. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm 25 weeks and three days. Right, okay, so in a couple more weeks, you'll be in your third trimester. Yeah. You're going to start getting tired. Yeah, that's <laughs> It's like the thinking. last bit. And that's when I'm going to be packing it my house up. Oh, just moving. Get, well, I did, didn't I? Because I moved. As you. So we you moved. moved you were about to drop. <laughs> I literally was about to pop when we moved um, into this house. And just, you know, you, you do, do your bits, but just get, you know, Greg and just get help because it's too much yeah although we didn't have we didn't get the full packing service this time because I wanted to sort stuff well that's what I've got to do so it's quite hard you are going to have to be involved because obviously I'm not telling I can't give that responsibility to anyone else no but do you know what what the best thing is the other end you have you can do nothing because when they take stuff the other end that's when you know that you haven't really got to do a lot and you can't lift anyway so just do a little bit. Just, just delegate. Do minimum. <laughs> De- yeah, that's it. And when we moved in, obviously I was out here. I was just like, yeah, that goes there, that goes there. You don't, you're not going to do it. You, you know, you're fully pregnant. They're not going to make you do anything. Just yeah. 
You can just do your makeup and bits, the kids bits, <laughs> all the nice Easy. bits. Yeah. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Wild Deodorant. In this heat, when it's been hot and humid, you can't beat a decent deodorant, can you? I know, tell me about it. And we love using Wild Deodorant because not only does it smell gorgeous, but it's sustainable, natural, and great value for money. So how it works is they have a refillable aluminium case that is 100% plastic free. You then buy refills for your case every two to three months, and you can even get your case personalized. I've been using Wild for a couple of months now, and it's so nice to use a natural product that actually works. When you're pregnant or even breastfeeding like I am, you are more conscious of the chemicals you're putting onto your body. So it feels good to use a product that's not only sustainable, but natural too. I really love the fresh cotton and the sea salt scent, and the texture of the deodorant makes you feel really soft and moisturized. It's so easy to purchase, Wild offers a flexible subscription service which allows you to receive your refills straight to your door. So we have a treat for you. You can get a free deodorant case worth £7 when you buy a starter pack. All you need to do is use the code SBCASE in capital letters. So head over to wearewild.com with the code SBCASE in capital letters. Shall I give you... A mouse, mouse update. update. Yes, please. Right, okay. So yesterday morning, Dad's been staying at mine. He always stays at ours when we go away, as you know. Security. <laughs> Security. So <laughs> yesterday morning, I'm at breakfast. I get a phone call from Dad. We've been chatting to him like he's been going and sorting stuff out of the house for us and whatever else. Anyway, yeah. so he calls me. He's like, chatting away. He goes, here. Yeah. Have you ever, ever had any uh, strange goings on in your house, right? And just for our listeners, the house we're talking about is the current house that I live in. So the house I've lived in for nine years where I feel like I've got mice. Anyway, so I went, what do you mean, right? I, I, for some reason, I just, sorry, just rewinding a little bit. I have, I've totally forgot to tell Dad about this mouse thing. Right, I was just going to say... So obviously Dad doesn't know about the mice. No. Or the so rats. before I went away, yeah. I didn't see Dad like that day and I I spoken to him and stuff, but I didn't see him. So I forgot to tell him about the mouse. So obviously I've got these like monitors around the house, but they're kind of hidden, so he wouldn't have seen them. Yeah. Anyway, right, so he goes, Strange go- have you ever had any strange goings on in the house, right? <laughs> I went, What do you mean strange see, goings on? You're not on? a crazy pregnant woman. So I went, right. I said, what, what do you mean strange goings on? He said, right, last night, he said, I was upstairs asleep in your bed. And, you know, Dad wakes up at anything, like... Yeah. He said, all of a sudden, he said, I've heard a big crash downstairs. He said, I've jumped up. He said, I thought someone was in the house. He said, I've run downstairs. He said, all your... About four of your photo frames off your <gasps> windowsill no. are flat down on the kitchen side, no. right? No, right, it gets better. And he said, and I've had a a, a, um, a loaf of bread on the side by your bread bin. He said, two pieces of the bread are on the windowsill, <gasps> right? So Dad's obviously freaked out. He's like, what? He went, Dad's going, you know, I don't believe in all that rubbish, you know. He you must know, have thought it was like a ghost or a spirit or He something. went, but do you think it could be? I went, oh He thought it God. was Nanny Wendy and Grandad Mick. I said, I went, Dad, I went, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you before, no. <laughs> before you stayed oh my here. Gosh. I went, I think well, I've got mice. At right? least it validates that actually that is, you have got mice. Well, so that gets man, better. Yeah. Go, on, go. So, on. Uh, anyway, then I quickly bring Dad up to speed with the mice. Dad's going, no way. No, no. A mouse would not be able to do that. And I know what he means. Like, mice are small, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, so the guy who owns the company that I've been using, you know, who's come... You remember I told you about the other guy, the joker, who's trying yeah. to accuse me yeah. of basically being crazy. Mm-hmm. So the guy who owns the company, he texts... He, he messaged me, like, um, yesterday as well, saying, hi, B, can I come? I'm back from holiday now. Can I go round to yours? Will your dad be there? Can I check? So I was like, oh my God, perfect. Yeah, my dad's my dad will update you. Some more stuff has happened. So anyway, between him going around there, now dad's on one, right? So dad calls me back again. He went, yeah. He said, that's another thing as well. He said, 
I had an empty bottle of wine on the side. He went, you know me. He went, you know me, Dad. Of course, it's empty. He said, the night before that, he said, when I come, he said I come down to get a glass of water, and he said, and it was rolling around on the floor, right? Oh. The but the bottle. Of, I went. That's really weird because you'd think it would smash, wouldn't you? Like a bottle yeah. of empty wine was. But Dad said it was on the floor, but like rolling, right? So I'm like, oh, Wait, Dad, now, I said what? Right. So now, so then I'm getting all these phone calls from Dad. Dad's now, like, thinking about all these scenarios. So is there a small mouse in the bottle rolling it like a... Don't know. So then I get another phone call from Dad. Oh, another thing. Now he's on really on a roll. (laughs) Yeah. Right. Another thing. coming to him. I got Harvest the takeaway the other day. I've left it on the side. Anyway, he said... Do Come back do home. Takeaways? What did he have a takeaway? <laughs> he walks around. There's a harvester, isn't there, near where I live? He walks over there, gets a take up chicken and rice, and then brings it back <laughs> in the salad. I could just imagine Dad with like a a big china plate full of a roast dinner with a bit of tin foil over it, just walking. <laughs> He's like, I've left it on the side. Come back to it. He said, I was on the toilet all night. I felt. Weird. Do you don't think like a mouse has got to it anyway? All now he's all these scenarios. Oh, no, like, he thinks I'm the getting mouse the phone. Is- Pigeons I'm getting the phone dinner. calls all day now because now Dad's on one, you know, it's something for him to talk about. And Anyway, no so way. in the meantime, the guy from the company, the pest control company, yeah. he's gone round there. Dad rings me up. You won't believe it. I'm like, what, what, what is it? You've got rats. Not mice, rats. He's going, <laughs> rats. Right, must have said the word rats 20 times in 10 seconds. Right, I went, Oh "Oh my god, I was like, So the guy basically said, Rats can be up to two foot long. Number one, he said, There's no way, there is no way a mouse would be able to knock them frames over. So I'm like, You know, a part of me is like, A part of me is relieved because I'm thinking I know I'm not going mad and I know what the animal is because I was questioning like well, you know when I told you that the black box moved and the guy laughed at me and said oh what do you think you got ghosts and all that yeah yeah so a rat so would be able to move that because well, imagine if it huge. was a mole rat google roll mat uh, mole I, I can't rat. I really can't all I can say is I'm so glad I'm on, on holiday because I would not be I would not be living there right now so I look he's, the guys them. it might not be a disgusting one Oh, it probably is. So the guy has found Ooh. out basically where my um, kitchen is. There's um, a, a pipe that they've bitten through, got through, and it goes into my kitchen. He's found where all the all no. the rat poo is. Oh. Yeah. So and somehow this rat, he said, he said, there's also where your boiler cupboard is in your bathroom. There's another hole from this same pipe. He thinks they've got up there. That's how they've got into my bedroom and Nelly's room. Oh. No, honestly, can you make? I'm like so freaked out, and but I'm also slightly relieved because relieved because you got to the problem. One, I know I, we know what it is now, and and thank God we're on holiday. I, I wouldn't be able to live there, and the thought no. of even. But this is what I'm saying. Like I heard, I can't even tell you how much I heard, and and there was even like a at a certain time of night, I could smell a disgusting smell in my room. Oh. And Greg, Greg said to me, that's, um, that's the bins from outside because we were sleeping with our windows open. He was like, you're getting wafts of the bins. And I was no, like, no, no, no. No, not that bad. I no. think it was a waffy smell where they've obviously weed or something on my carpet. Uh, so I've got yeah, to get it, rat piss. Yeah, so I've got to get all of that sorted. But the guy is now... So he that so that so, what's the so it's all going, but at least so he's the guy is dealing with it all now. He's got to go back again next week. He's hope hoping like he's blocked up stuff and you know done whatever he needs to do. So it's I've had not not mice. I've had a rat or rats. That's disgusting. Oh, but under my bed. This is what I'm saying. Oh. They've been in my room. Like the four. You're going to need to get like a proper deep clean as well like complete yeah i've got to have know, it like, dis- dad said that he was like disinfecting everything in my kitchen he was like i'm getting everything out because i said to dad i was like well have they come is it coming like because i've got a food cupboard on one side i was like dad just get rid of everything like get everything out like i'm you know like just freaked out by the thought of 
rats or not. I don't, well, I can't even. At least you know what it is now and they're going to And also, I, Greg's got the other guy's number, so I cannot wait to call him yeah, and, and be say, like, actually, do you know what, I'm gonna you be owe like me an ghosts. apology. Ghosts, eh? You should ghosts. say you owe me an apology, actually. Yeah. I'm going to say, I, I knew I knew it. Like You know, like you just think, like, even Greg was questioning me at one point. I was like, Greg, I'm telling you now. Yeah, no, no. I promise you there's something in this house. Like, I just, I know. And it's obviously, it was big. Because remember I told you mm-hmm. I heard something move under my bed. It's obviously got some strength. Yeah. Oh. Could be a massive one as well. Um, we mm. have got some more baby names. Do you want me to read some out for you? Oh, please do. Logan. Just say yes or no. Or maybe. <laughs> Logan. No. Jax. No. Samuel. No. <laughs> Sorry, sis. Mind you, Nelly's got my name in her middle name. Yeah. So um, Lawrence. No. I quite like Lawrence. Alex. No. Oliver. Nope. Spencer. Spenny. That's a good name. That's a good name. It's a Teddy. great name. Listen, by the way, these are all great names. I hope no one gets offended. Yeah, don't They're take just not offended. for me. No, it's fine. Um, Teddy. We've no, got we've got a Teddy. We've got a Vinny. Um, Lenny? No. Oh, excuse me. Sebastian? No. Stanley. Dad's got a, a st- best friend called Stan. <laughs> Do you know Mum loves the name Stanley? Mum keeps saying Stanley to me. A newborn baby called Stanley would be quite cute, but we can't call a baby Stanley. Look at me, we. Baby Stanley. Um, Penelope, that's nice. I'm sure that was one of your baby names before for, for Nelly. Yeah, I do like Penelope. It's lovely, but... Shut the door, darling. Thank you. Um, Matilda. No. Daisy. No. Elsie. That was Nellie's name. Actually, Elsie was the name that I really liked before Nellie was born. Yeah. But I'm over it now. It's like that ship sailed, you know? Right, okay. Florence. I love that name. Gorgeous, but no. Okay. Uh, Nancy. No. Sophia. I do really like Nancy, actually, but it's not... No. Sydney, we've got a Sydney. No. When I say Sydney, when I say we've got a, it's because what I mean is, I'm sure you understand, we've got got either family that have got a baby or a close friend that have got a baby called that. But these are all gorgeous names, but they're just not... You know, like with a name, when you get a name, you just know. Mm -hmm. But I also think you've got to see the baby. For me, personally, I'm going to wait till the baby's here I waited, yeah. So I waited till Edward... You know I've always loved Edward. I actually wanted Edward for Paul. But I waited until Edward was born. And for even for a couple of weeks, I was like, is he Edward? It is quite hard. Because even, like, all newborns still have that newborn look, don't they? And I was like... Are you Edward? He's so Edward. Like, he can be anything else than Edward. He's Edward, yeah. It happens. But but anyway, I'll let you get back. It's raining, in case you wanted to know that. Is it really? Yeah, looking out the window, it's raining. But we needed it, because it's been really hot, and literally... Well, that'll be good for my grass. I hope it's raining in Essex. (laughs) Everyone's grass needs it. It It's so dry, so it's raining, but still warm out. But We'll have a lovely lovely time at the party. Thank you, Princess Party. Um, Enjoy the rest of your holiday. I'll probably speak to you later. Love you. (laughs) Love you. Bye. Bye.